What's up, y'all? Sparta here. So, for this video, I guess I just want to detail the issues that I have with S21 Ultra in, in terms of capturing video. And I detailed some of these in my um, recent video, the um, where I was comparing it to the V60 in terms of stabilization for 1080p and 4K. So, let's get into this. Um... In terms of stabilization in particular, I do feel like the S21 Ultra does have sort of, does have these issues because of how just how big the sensor is, right? Which makes sense. 108 megapixel sensor is going to be harder, more it's going to be more difficult to stabilize, it's going to be more difficult to catch focus, all that stuff. So it makes sense that these things are harder on here, but it's more the inconsistencies with the stabilization that I want to talk about. And I don't know if this is more on just my side looking at it or if it translates well, especially in that video, which I advise people to watch, where it's shaky and you can tell that I'm move, I'm holding the phone. Whereas on the V60, aside from right now, which what I'm doing, mainly because I'm talking and... I'm not really sitting in a in an area where it's easier to hold, I guess. Um, the V6 is just way better stabilized. Um, it, I, and you could tell that it's a little bit shaky on the S21. It looks a little bit jittery. The 1080p honestly kind of looks like ass, Like <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. I'm... Um, and I know, that, oh, why not just go to 4K? Because... the the 1080p should be good enough, right? Especially if you don't want to transfer a whole bunch of large files from one phone to another, like I tend to do to edit and stuff like that. This should be able to be a more stabilized platform without me having to use a gimbal. On a V60, for example, on the V60, for example, I don't feel I need any sort of gimbal or any stabilizer while walking for vlogging or anything like that. I feel like I'm totally, I can trust the phone enough to give me very stable video without me having to, you know, you spend $100, $200 on an extra accessory that I'm only going to use very rarely. The stabilization on the phone itself should be good enough for that to happen this is more like iphone stabilization where it's not it's it's not floaty but it, it's not floaty like a v60 but it it's inconsistent with how stable it wants to be and 1080p is not very stable and the video quality is actually kind of bad in 4k the stabilization is definitely better and the image is crisp more crisp I don't know what's going on with that because I'll show you guys actually um, what resolution it says the files are in, which is very weird. But um, yeah, let me go to this one. Uh, as you guys can see right here for the 4K file, this is 3840 by 1644. Um, this one it says 1920 by 824 so it's not really going into 1080p at all um that might be because i'm doing 21 by 9 but on the v60 it has no problem giving me 21 by 9 1080 1920 by 1080 so i don't know maybe it's the resolutions maybe it's the sensor size or something i'm not a camera aficionado or anything like that so i don't necessarily know i just know what is the basis of what's needed to know about how these sensors work and how they can pack 108 megapixels in this small footprint like that right so yeah in terms of video i do feel there are some issues if you want the best stabilization you're gonna have to go 4k um, and due to the fact that there's no SD card for this expansion option for this phone, you're going to have to go 256 or 512. To me, that's very much in an issue to me 
Um, especially if you're going to be using this as your main content creation platform, you're basically going to have to either not do 21 by 9 and just do regular 1080p 16 by 9, or which for me kind of sucks because I just like to do 21 by 9. I've gotten used to it. I do it on my G8. I do it on my V60. Like it's just some. I, I even did it on the S20 FE, and the S20 FE did not have these kind of problems. Again. Most likely because the sensor is way smaller and it could be stabilized better. Um, focusing has not necessarily been a huge issue for me. Um, do, in terms of like photos anyway, in terms of what this I almost touched the lens, in terms of what this sensor can do and, and the laser autofocus, obviously, um, the issues that the S20 Ultra had are kind of like... There are some times, it depends on the subject, where it won't focus, and I'll have to go into pro mode to manually focus. Like like I said in my photo comparison between against the V60, right? Where it's a very small subject, it's gonna take it's gonna take a bit to <laughs> you're gonna have to use that manual focus. And that's obviously going to change the color temperature. It's going to take all the super juicy AI stuff that they like to put on top of their images off. So that's just something that you're going to have to deal with. Um, in terms of that, it's pretty much like that's the only issue. But say if I just want to do quick of the draw, like photo moments, right? And I'll show you guys a couple of pictures that I've taken just to, you know, test the the um, background blur of the lens so let me go up here let me delete this that is that is not needed so took a picture of this i didn't tap to focus or anything i just put the phone right up to the pringles can and i really do hate this new pringles guy design it's stupid but nonetheless i wanted to try this flavor and as you guys can see, most for for them, it's pretty much in focus. I don't really see anything. It might be a little bit blown out in terms of like the whites, but it's not terrible for like a quick social media photo. That's fine. Then I took a picture of this, and it looks a bit more purple than it than <laughs> than it actually was at the time. That might be the um, that might be the sun hitting it because it is a sunset and it's setting as you guys can see on the left right now right on this furniture barn right here so yeah that looks nice um the background blur is very quality i don't really have any sort of issues with that um this was just me testing out the uh zoom this was this was just a picture i took um right before seeing godzilla versus king kong um let me try to find the one that I want to sh show you guys how well it can capture detail. This is really nice. Um, that is really quality. Um, this isn't me zooming in with the 10X or the 3X. This is me just pushing, putting the sensor closer to the subject and just taking the photo. Again, background blur is very nice here. Um, it, it's just like, that's what I would say this, that's what I would say this, um, the sensor is very good for giving you a good amount of detail while giving you nice background blur to where you don't you pretty much never need the portrait mode which is kind of it does suck for human subjects i haven't tried i haven't tested it yet but in terms of human subjects when it comes to phone cameras i don't know why but they never ever ever want to blur the background they want you to use that godforsaken <laughs> that godforsaken portrait mode but yeah in terms of like flowers plants even animals it'll blur the background very nice um i don't really like how samsung processes animals and pets they tend to be they tend to be kind of garbage with that i'll see if i can find any of my pets on here uh, and, uh, that's a no, unless they're in the trash, which, oh yeah, so here's, here's one of my cats, um, 
I did zoom in a little bit, but it's a little bit eh, like it's not great. Let me see if I can, um, no, nah, I don't think I have anything. No, nah, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, so yeah, in terms of that, I do feel this phone does quite good. In certain aspects, I'm going to have to do more testing. Cats and dogs do not like to stay still, especially that my my black cat. She does not like to stay still at all. When I'm trying to take a picture. I think the best picture I ever took of her was on my G8. <laughs> so I'm going to have to try that again. But yeah, in terms of that, um, it focuses quite well. I tend to... It will automatically go into um, night mode when you have the AI enhancer turned on. I wouldn't do that. And when you also have that turned on and it can't catch focus, it will. Let me see if I can get it to work. Um, as you guys can see in this lower left corner right here, focus enhancer is on. And why I don't use that is... um. It takes out the background blur. So I just tend to turn that off and I never use it at all. So that's something that is there that I never use. And I kind of wish they didn't put in the phone. <laughs> because it's, it kind of sucks. It, one, it shifts the it, it shifts the angle of the sensor. So it's probably using a different, it's probably using a different sensor. And it, it just doesn't look great. I don't really like it. Sure, it's better for focus, but I don't... If you're going to sacrifice one of the very nice qualities of the 108 megapixel sensor, I don't want it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all I really want to say for this, though. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you have an S21 Ultra, how you've been feeling on the camera and the... Um, how you've been feeling on the camera, video... Just the phone overall. Again, I really do like this phone overall. It's just I'm trying to find flaws with it that I don't necessarily like. This isn't me trying to trash the phone because it's a, a Samsung phone and they took out a lot of features that I liked. It's not just that. I do like the phone a lot. I don't regret the purchase at all. So that's just really all I want to say for that. Um, The V60 is very good at giving you a good amount of background blur. That could be a this can be a uh, <laughs> that could be a thumbnail, but yeah, this is part of thank you guys for watching. Thanks for support. Hope you guys have a wonderful Friday, or whatever time of day it is in the area. Um, again, like the video if you like it, dislike if you dislike it. Show people that are interested in this sort of content. Um, and thanks for a thousand twenty three twenty four subscribers. Keeps fluctuating as always, but thank you for over a thousand subs. Period. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. Um, finally get to do the monetization. I might start doing live streams. I don't know. Um, obviously that's going to be more difficult and I want to get my hair cut first because, uh, as you guys may be able to see, the pandemic is, uh, has not been kind to me. So yeah, um, have a good one.